Well, it's, it's had the windows open for like a week now. We have uh, let sales know. They just don't care. I, don't, I think it's just getting towed away. It's a piece of Come junk on anyway. Right. Yeah, I will. I will. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. How's it going, Tyler? Doing awesome. You? Yeah, I'm doing good. Living the dream? Always. 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 Yep. <clears throat> How about you? Well, I have no breakdowns this week yet, so it's good. <laughs> You've had a couple of long weeks full of it, eh? Fuel pump, water pump. Yeah. Kind of the cost of driving around all the time, I guess, eh? Something's going to break. Something's going to break. Yeah. That's the way it is. <clears throat> if things didn't break down, you and I would both be out of work. It's true. I guess that is the true, most true statement we've had on this truck. <laughs> oh, it's new. I saw some people talk about these and they like them. Oh, Not a know. new product per se, but it's a new item that I have on sale. The twist sockets for routed nuts and bolts. Yep. There's an internal twist. I don't know if you can see that on That's why it's a mixed set of you know, standard and metric. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is, too. Hmm. Yeah, those picks, well, they came up last week. Yeah. Now, this is something that I saw online, like, yesterday. You saw it online yesterday. Yeah. Well, you saw it live here first. I already like it. The logo is the light. Yeah. Is that rechargeable? Yeah. Oh. And you can dim it. Yeah, it's rechargeable. It has UV as well. Cool. You were checking for leak dyes. Oh, there's a magnet. There's a magnet in one of the bases. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's USB-C, which is good. You don't have to get a new so cord. So you can hang it. The Snap-on logo is the light. That is cool. Yeah. It's actually the writing portion that lights up. <laughs> it's light. It's bright. What's hot? What's new? I guess I might have to buy a new light today. Oh, bam. That works. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Many functions. I don't think the hinge is strong enough to hold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plus, it's the hook too. So. Yep. Best of both worlds. <clears throat> that is. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. Lumens on that thing. Can you read? I can't read now. I'm seeing the stars. Um, 400 lumens, 150 on low, 400 on high. <coughs> the UV has 30 hours of use, three hours on high, six hours on low. That's not bad at all. No. Hmm. I like it. I think everyone else will too, actually. What's that, Hunter? Uh, what did you say? I 
it said, warning, do not look at the logo when turning the light on. Is, it, is that what it says? No, that's what it, <laughs> said, it should say. <laughs> I believe in no warnings myself. <laughs> Natural <formation>. Yep. <laughs> if you're stupid enough, you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Are these all your, uh, are these all loners? Yep. Wow. I never even realized, I thought, I just thought they were used and you're selling used no. ones. No. Those are those all, are all loners. loners. I do have more than that. Yeah. Um, the only ones that are n new. The ones that are. Yeah. 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 Those two. And no, that's a loner too. The hmm. rest of them are all loners and demos. Hmm. That's the difference between a good dealer and a... What's that? That's the difference between a good dealer and a mediocre dealer, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How many loners you have. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's a real simple thing. Um, having them eliminates <clears throat> stress. Yeah. For you and me. Yeah. Your tool's down, it's going to be gone two weeks. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah stress into your life yeah it doesn't come back in two weeks now you're putting stress at me because where's my tool i need my tool when i give you a loaner then it doesn't matter yeah. it's totally yeah. irrelevant well look at i mean i bought the i bought the torque wrench and just gave me a loaner for two weeks exactly it's great um so it really helps that way from a service standpoint but also i mean some of the tools are not cheap you wouldn't buy a car without test driving it. For sure. Here's a five hundred dollar tool. Try it. Yeah. Seven hundred dollar torque wrench. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Yeah. And then there's <clears throat> never the uh, buyer's remorse afterwards. Yeah. No uncomfortable conversations taking place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you like it, you don't like it, you buy it, you don't buy it. For yeah. sure. Works well for me. Who? There are some new products coming down the pipe. Yeah. Not here yet. We can talk about them when they show up, or I can tell you now. What do you got? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's new. Uh, the Icon oh, Series the Icon Toolboxes. Here. It's like a classic series toolbox, but they've added a power drawer and another four inch drawer. So it's taller. We have coming a new version of the PT850. It is half inch drive. It's just a little less power and it's at a lower price point. Um, the internals of the impact mechanism are the same. The air motor is a little different. It's a little lower power, but it's a different price point. Too. Yeah. Um, we have a new set of sockets coming which from a snap-on standpoint is revolutionary. The sockets haven't changed in 40 years since flank drive came out. It'll look somewhat like that. Well, to the naked eye, it looks like that, but the tolerances are different. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, well, we haven't had a new design yeah, of sockets snap-on with new sockets, time. yeah, that's different. <clears throat> Much tighter tolerance. If you have a rounded nut or bolt, they are the shit. We've tried it. Nice. I've got a demo coming to prove it. Cool. It's somewhat similar to this that I did. Now I can only do this on a 12 point socket because I don't have machines now. I've got a bench grinder. Yeah. So I knocked the corners off on the bolt. Stick it in the craftsman socket and it spins. Yeah. Stick it in the snap-on socket and it doesn't spin. Yeah. There's a difference. This new one that's coming out, um, I'll actually be able to do the same test, but 
with an almost completely rounded off bolt and a snap-on flank drive socket with a new really? snap-on socket. Oh, that's impressive. Um, Can't wait. I, they have their place. Um, they don't replace our existing sockets. They're not going to be in everyday use? Because they're tight. Well, if you're going to use them on um, painted fastener, it won't work very well because the tolerances are so close yeah. that it won't fit well. You'll get it jammed on there. AN stuff, any brass stuff, it will mar the side of the fastener. Um, so aviation guys don't like that because you're not allowed to mar a fastener. Right. If there's a nick on a fastener, it goes to the garbage. Replace it with new titanium. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're not for everything, but cool. rounded stuff. When, do, when are you going to see those on the truck? <clears throat> I just found out about them on Mon yes, Monday. Okay. At our monthly meeting. Cool. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Some new stuff. Can't wait. All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to Snap on Wednesday in the shop. Uh, you already saw the truck stuff. And uh, you saw some new tools, you saw the new, uh, well, you heard about the new flank drives, uh, sockets, and uh, the new uh, version of the PT850. So it'll be interesting to see that when it hits the truck and you get to, get to see them in, in real and, and uh, get to actually look at them and we'll actually check them out for sure. We're going to check them out. So uh, I got my, my torque wrench in today. Um, I had the demo obviously for a while. So this one is the uh, the a, uh, the tech meter ATEC 3FR 300B. So the one I originally had purchased was the 250 foot pound one, and Tyler comes and drops this on my toolbox, and it's 300 foot pounds. So he got it for the same price as the 250 one, and so. All the better for me, right? Um, this is a bad boy, though. I tell you, just in love with this thing, man. So nice. I've been using it for the last uh, two weeks. Uh, well, the demo, anyway. Tyler's demo, and I'm I'm impressed. It's uh, I don't know what took me so long to trade up from my um, from my click my or my uh, my split beam, but and I bought the new light. You know, I've, I've been on record saying before, you can have too many lights. I have enough lights. You know what? I really like lights though. So let's have a quick look at it, a little bit of a closer look. So I did read out some of the specs on it. It is a uh, the 400 lumens on high, 150 on low, dual power switches. Um, the UV is... Uh, 30 hours of use and three hours of use on high for the light and uh, six hours on low 400 lumen as I said so oh so there's the UV you guys can see that right there um, so how this is I'll show you the snap-on logo itself is what lights up that's pretty cool. So it is rechargeable. You got a light there to indicate your charge. And you get the... Uh, the hook and, and magnet. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. And of course you can click that on the top. Click that pretty much anywhere on the body but it works the best on the bottom, so. That's so awesome, so cool. Uh, this light, I know we don't talk prices normally. Uh, Canadian, it was like $119 or something. So, it's cool. I'll have a review, I'll, well, I'll let you know in maybe a couple of weeks if this thing's still holding up. It's got a nice quality feel to it, so I'm kinda, I'm happy I got it. So, that's pretty much it, guys. 
nothing else going on. It's been a bit of a slow day for us here in the shop, but uh, the week itself is, is going pretty good. I apologize for the noise in the shop. We have a, uh, we got the guys doing some polishing on some of the cars here today. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got for you. Remember to uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.